Enzymes and Allosteric Regulation Enzymes act by binding to their substrate and lowering the activation state of the reaction, thereby catalyzing the reaction, speeding it up. There are various ways to regulate the activity of an enzyme. One is through small molecules that bind to sites on the enzyme that are distinct from the active site. There are two types. There are positive effectors and negative effectors. In the case of a positive effector, in the absence of the allosteric regulator, the enzyme is inactive. Binding of the regulator to the enzyme changes the state, the structure of the enzyme, and now the enzyme can catalyze the reaction. In the absence of the regulator, the enzyme again is inactive. The binding of the effector is reversible. It can go on and off. As you can well imagine, if there are positive regulators, there is also likely to be negative regulators. In this case, the enzyme is active in the absence of the regulator, but when the regulator binds to the enzyme, it turns the enzyme off. It turns it off because it changes the structure, changing the ability of the enzyme to bind the substrate. When the negative regulator comes off the enzyme, the enzyme again is active. So you should be able to answer the question, why, what are the advantages of regulating enzyme activity through allosteric mechanisms compared to controlling enzyme activity by changing the amount of enzyme present by regulating enzyme synthesis and degradation rates?